Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's me, Pastor Lamar. I'm coming to you to give you an update on the refill 2014. If any of you that have been following me and you've received the video invite from last week, uh, a brief definition of the refill is God told me to call all spirit-filled churches in the area to come together on Pentecost Sunday. That will be this Sunday, upcoming Sunday, June 8th at 5 p.m. And we will observe this time every year. And this will be uh, called the refill because as the old prayer warriors used to say, there's one, one filling but many refillings. Uh, and so that's what pastors and leaders and churches, God told me to call us all together and come together, one, to celebrate Pentecost, but I ask for the winds of the Holy Spirit to flow again. If we ever want a move of God like in the upper room or like at Azusa, we will only get it when we come together. We got to come from behind our Baptist title, our AME title, our Pentecostal title, and come back to just being a one people that just want God to move in their life. And I believe that this is going to cause and stir the wind of change and revival in our city because I see a great thing happening in our city. And I want all of us to be ready for what God is doing. Thank you to all the pastors. The, many of you I've, I've met for the first time now that you uh, answered the call to it. And you said, Pastor, I'll be there. And I thank you for that. I just want to give you a couple updates. We've got our speakers lined up. Uh, there will be five different speakers that will speak on different areas of the Holy Spirit. There will be three to four different specific prayers uh, that will be done by pastors as well as we not just teach this thing out, but we also pray this thing out and establish this thing because you're not going to leave here just with a good service. You're leaving here filled back up with all God has called you to do and charged and ready to go out and change this world and change our region for Jesus Christ. Uh, we we'll want to give you some of the people that will be here uh, that have already uh, said they've agreed to be a part. Their churches are a part. Uh, and that's Pastor Derek McGee, Pastor Rudy Ferguson, Pastor Chester Brown, uh, Superintendent Gerald Mandrell, and Co-Pastor Judy Mandrell, uh, Pastor Tori Phillips, uh, Pastor Clarence Jackson, uh, Pastor Joseph Franklin, uh, Pastor uh, Rod Harris, and so many others that are already on board and we're still getting more and more people to be a part. And I thank you for that. Uh, Apostle Renita Allen Dixon, uh, This my goal is because we didn't have as much time this year uh, to get it done. But by next year, we won't just have uh, all the people that we know, but we're going to see that on Pentecost Sunday in Tallahassee, that some auditorium, some stadium is going to look like the kingdom of God, not just with black faces, but white faces, Latino faces, Asian faces, anybody that is spirit filled. And I thank you for accepting the call uh, to come together as a community and as one to meet God and be refilled with the Holy Spirit for this next level and this next assignment. There's a couple updates I want to give you. One, and that is that particular service, we're wearing all white. Whatever your all white is, you find it, you do it, but all white. As close as you can get to all white. I told my church, all white. If you don't have all white, all cream. If you don't have all cream, all beige. And if you don't have all beige, then bleach it. But we want you to be here with that uh, all white, just representing what the Holy Spirit brings to us. That because of the Holy Spirit, it cloaks us and covers us so we can be deemed righteous and pure before the Lord as we're still in the process of being purified and made righteous. Another one of the updates is that there will be a fellowship choir that all the churches will come together. This year, because of sake of time, all the praise and worship teams uh, and all the usher teams won't be able to get together, but anybody coming to serve and being ready to work, you will work. Uh, but the choir rehearsal is this Thursday. Uh, the zip file has already been sent out for the choir rehearsal. Uh, but if you need it, just call us here, 850-878-4930, and we can get that zip file to you. Uh, but here at Thursday at 7 p.m., all choirs are welcome to be a part of the Refill uh, Fellowship Choir. The other great announcement I'd like to make is that we're also tying a cause, a charitable cause, to this service. And that portions of the offering will go to the Sickle Cell Foundation. 
We know that one of the dear uh, generals in our city, uh, Pastor Helena Barrington, has dealt with sickle cell for a very long time. But she was not able to do her sickle celebration at the end of last year. But I want to make sure that we get a great donation to that foundation in her name. Uh, I, my, myself and Pastor Judy, we told her that we would make sure we do something for her. And I want to make good on my word. So I thank you uh, for bringing a seed. Because Pentecost Sunday is not just a service. It's also a feast. It's an appointment with the Lord. And anytime we have an appointment with the Lord, we should not show up empty-handed. I'm looking to see you. Help me spread the word. Tell any pastor uh, that you know. If I haven't reached you, it's because I don't know how. But I want you here because I believe God is calling us to one. And I thank you for those of you that have answered the call. Don't forget those updates. I'll see you all Thursday. And I'll be contacting more pastors this week. We'll see you at Refilled this Sunday at Love and Faith, June 8th, 5 p.m. for refilling of the Holy Ghost. God bless you.